and welcome to the very first episode of Jest with Jalice. I'm Jalice and hope you enjoy. Our first segment takes us to the heart of a Lemoyne senior, Josh Redden. <laughs> I'm Josh Redden. Are you the one? His passion is writing and singing about love. But is it enough? Next to him sits an empty chair. He's friendly, social, and a real man's man. He's driven, smart, and sexy. Hey, how are you? Yeah. Nice art, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm so humble sometimes. But I'm still lonely. Are you looking for the one? I'm looking for my one and only. Do you think she's here? She's out over there. <laughs> she better be. <laughs> Where is she at? Welcome to the stage, Josh Redden. <laughs> now Josh, for all the viewers out there who may not know you, can you just tell us about yourself? Uh, my name is Josh Redden. I am a senior here at Lemoyne College, English major, uh, concentration in education. Funny you should ask that. <laughs> uh, I actually was in, uh, going into education, but I quit for music. Wow, that's inspiring. It is inspiring. Why the sudden life change? Um, I don't like kids to teach them. <laughs> Do you not like children at all? No, they're awful. So, girls, you know, we're doing a, a matchmaking show for you. Yes. So, do you like girls who like children? I don't want her to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from the Syracuse area, Liverpool High School. And what are your hobbies and favorite activities? Um, my hobbies would be uh, hanging out with friends. You have friends? I have like two now. Wow. Oh, Facebook official. They Good tagged me in a photo the other day. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yes, I like hanging out with friends, uh, do music, play piano in the studio. Um, what else do I do? <laughs> That's about That's it. it. Okay, and where do you see yourself going after graduation? Um, 
Not uh, under the bridge, right? Under the bridge where? Like, you know, homeless people. Oh, homeless? Yeah. No, I'd rather go to jail <laughs> first. Um, I'm hoping to move to LA to pursue music. Um, to get famous. Sweet. Get in the East Side. Move to the East Side. Sounds like a solid plan. If not, I'll probably work at the library still. <laughs> where I should be right now. <laughs> okay, Josh. On a more personal level, why has finding the one been so <laughs> difficult so far? <laughs> why is it so difficult? I go to Lemoyne. <laughs> <laughs> um, why is it so difficult? I don't know. I heard they're expensive. <laughs> um, and uh, I don't have much money since I work in a library. <laughs> for all you out there, he is suggesting mail order brides for. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really thought they came in the mail. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> why now, Josh? Why now? Uh, is it the senior, like, oh, I have to get a job, a real life? Yeah. Kind of kind of that, just because everyone has one and I don't. Kind of like the new, like, iPod. Everyone got it. <laughs> and everyone else has one. Now, you may be asking yourself, what do I have to do to get a date with Josh? <clears throat> well, you have to be able to be the girl from the love list. Oh, crap. <laughs> Josh has so kindly <laughs> made up a list of the 10 qualities his lady must have. Shall we take a look? Yeah? You ready Use for this? Use your discretion to <laughs> you want. Number one on the list is advanced drinker. Must like anything. Josh, being a senior at Lemoyne College, Drinking seems to be a pretty popular activity on and off campus. So what counts as your definition of advanced? Well, Jalise, an advanced drinker consists of two things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> true beauty. <laughs> oh, I'm reading, I'm reading that. I don't want to talk about alcohol. I go to church. <laughs> Can we skip this one? Yes. Josh likes his women to booze. Enough said. <laughs> Number two, must look the same day and night. She must be a true beauty. No surprises. Josh, Josh how? Is it, like, how? This is actually a, a big concern here at Lemoyne. Um, through the time of day, the looks of an individual changes throughout the day. Sometimes startling. Um, in the morning, they're all fresh and, you know, presentable. Then something happens between the hour <laughs> of five to eight. <laughs> Tired, maybe? I don't know what happens. Things so you're saying all apart. girls? No, not all girls. Not all girls. Okay, but all. your girl, she has to look the same all the time. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't have to have a lot of makeup or crazy stuff or uh, wigs or anything. <laughs> <laughs> just a real girl. <laughs> I just want a real person. <laughs> Someone who doesn't have to be like, to put stuff on. Or. Okay. Number three, must treat Josh like a baby. Yeah. I.e. a job in daycare <laughs> is a plus. Yeah. How does one treat you like a baby? Not like a baby, more like a small child. <laughs> I have needs such as I need to get fed every two hours, um, <laughs> put me to bed sometimes, <laughs> iron my clothes. Um, I don't iron my clothes. Does that include pushing you around in a stroller? If I have like a go-kart of some sort and she needs to push it because of battery. What know. about changing of diapers? Is I don't wear diapers. where the line gets a little... Yeah, the line gets... I don't know if I wear diapers. Gets a little blurred. Yeah. If she wears diapers, then that would uh. be right. <laughs> <laughs> Two, number four, she must support Josh in his music career. What if she has her own music career? <laughs> she better give me some money for my <laughs> music career. <laughs> is Out it of love and <laughs> kindness. Because is it as plain as that? She yeah, I mean, if, if she supports me with my music, just helping me out, um, telling me it sounds good, even if it might So not. like an ego booster? More like an ego booster, yeah. Because, I mean, if you come home to her saying your music is crap, then I don't want to live in that type of environment. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it hurts sometimes. Number five, 
must like to dance and dance well, but yeah. not as a profession. Not a profession. Can you demonstrate <laughs> some of these dance moves she must be able to do? Dance moves? Yeah. Demonstrate them. Um, Get a little preview. A preview. Because of how the do we know moves. you can dance? I know I can dance. But I don't. Um, YouTube, <laughs> the best dancer, live. And, and it's I'm you. that person. All right. How about a little shimmy something? Um, like that, maybe. <laughs> is that is that your own? Yeah. Did you just come up with that? Yeah. What do you call that? A like shoulder the shrug. Salt, salt, salt shaker. shaker. Salt something shaker. Like that. Okay. Shoulder shrug. Alrighty. Thank you. Number six. Ten. Has to know how to swim because oh. Josh doesn't. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I think we all know the rumor that comes around that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh and it's true. <laughs> Are you <laughs> suggesting a lifeguard girlfriend? A lifeguard girlfriend? I mean, <coughs> if she's a lifeguard, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. um, swimming. I don't. I don't swim a lot, so I'd rather her um, cook. Mm. Okay. And are you familiar with mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation? I've heard. You've heard? I've heard of it. Mm. I've seen okay. it on TV. You've seen it on TV. Mm -hmm. Wow, good for you. Number seven, <clears throat> cultured, ethnic, and not ignorant. What do you mean by cultured? I forgot what I was <laughs> Cultured. Mm, I think I'm coming across ignorant in this interview. <laughs> That brings me to my next question. Uh, what if she's ethnic but not cultured? What do you do? That's a doozy right there. Um, educate her about um, culture. Because <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've What exactly traveled. do you mean cultured? Does well, that mean I, uh, last year I traveled to, I, went, I studied abroad in London, and I got to travel to a lot of places, got to see a lot. And um, they say Americans are ignorant and they're um, into themselves and stuff like, like making a show about yourself, finding love. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not but, that. Um, yeah, no, just, you know, there's more out there than, you know, what you see. Okay. Appreciate it. Well said. Number eight, must be a good time without talking. <laughs> you don't have to entertain her. Well, I was actually talking to my friend about this the other day. <sighs> Do you like mutes? I don't know if I know one. <laughs> I mean. What if she has all these qualities, but is not a good time when she's quiet? Um, well, if she's quiet, she's just there, I guess. I mean, I feel like if you're quiet in front of someone comfortable without talking, it's nice to have. OK, but can you explain this to me? Like, must right. be a good time. So like, I don't want to be watching TV or us watching TV. And she's like forced to have a conversation just because we're in silence, you know. I feel like if she spends like silent car rides, <laughs> they're fine, you know. Have you thought of investing in a blow-up doll? A blow-up doll? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, and don't have to entertain her. So like, do you not want to occupy her time? Like, no. Oh no. I, I mean, I obviously want to have her talk to me, but I think it's good when you could hang out with someone and just be quiet. And just hang out. A lot of people just want to come over and be like, oh, what are we doing? If we do nothing, is that fine? Hmm, okay. Number nine, <laughs> classy but cheap. Yes, big one. Enjoy dollar menu. <laughs> <laughs> Spice it up. <laughs> Enjoy that. We don't know. Every, everything's not flashy. Are you saying that like, if she wore a garbage bag to class? No. Dress it up. Like, <laughs> if you have to do what you got to do, you know. I mean, I don't spend a lot on a lot of things. But, you know, but you work with what you got. That was it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But with classy but cheap. like. Classy but cheap. Classy. We could have a good time going out. Classiness. But um, cheap in the sense of, I don't know, we don't have to go to a fancy place or nothing has to clothes don't have to be name brands, gifts don't have to be name brands. Okay. That brings us to number 10, the last item on the love list. 
no family, no friends. No. Must, must have a car. <laughs> must have a car. <laughs> what do you say after that one? I don't know. What if she's a loner? If she's a loner? I mean, I want her to have family. Do you serial killers tickle uh, your fancy or is like I wouldn't I would kill her <laughs> no. I'm saying if she doesn't have family friends or a car she, odds are girl is not all there that's true that's true I'm just well, wondering um no family would mean no know, let's start with the no friends. friends what does oh, no, no friends. what does no friends mean I mean have friends but friends don't let friends you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> friends don't let friends. Fri um, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, I really don't know what I was trying to say. With that <laughs> one. But must have a car is important because I don't. <laughs> so you just gotta drive you. Yeah, around. drive me around every now and then. Mm -hmm. I like going to car rides on the weekends. So. Do you think this list is a little harsh or you unrealistic? No. No. You got it. You're just going to make me look bad. This is what this is. What, <laughs> what if the girl has all but one of the qualities on the list? All but one? All but one. Oh, I forgot the first one. Um, tell me about yourself. No family, no friends. She must what look the she, same, yeah. What if she, she doesn't, doesn't have, have a car? Like, if she doesn't have a car, then I would accept if her friends have a car. <laughs> but she doesn't she have do. friends. No she can't friends. have friends. We'll, we'll edit that list. <laughs> okay. How did you narrow down the top ten qualities? Um, There's no answer on this paper for you. How did I scoring. narrow down the top ten? Well, conversations with you made me realize what I wanted. <laughs> what does that mean? We created the, the, oh, the list. Okay, all right, got it. <laughs> Just a little, little caught off guard, ladies and gentlemen. Not gonna lie that's, to you. That's real TV. That's real TV LTV. right there. Which is the most important to you? Hmm. Oh, out of the list. <laughs> um, no, on I the planet Pluto. <laughs> what do you? I think? thought we said the car thing. <laughs> well, um, which probably the, from the top of your head. Swim. I mean, it's all the atmosphere of what ha what happens. If I need someone to help me swim, I'm just a swimmer. Okay, and Josh, as you may be aware, I am going to start my quest to find you Le One. What advice would you give to the hopeful ladies that you will soon be going on dates with? Um, don't use all your much money. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, advice to give them? Yeah. You can take, take a second to think about it, because this is a big deal breaker. Yeah. These ladies are going to be putting their hearts on the line for you, wow. and you can either step on them or step. let love in. Let love in. Um, here, here I am, so I'm ready <laughs> for a good time. And do you have any messages for any of them? Messages? Or, like, should they wear a certain color? Should they wear their hair a certain way? That's a little bit much. Um... Uh, bring conversation. I like conversation. And uh, a life buoy in case you're oh, in a pool. Yeah, if we, if I don't, if we can't swim, yeah, that's too, that's probably for the date. Mm -hmm. Um, bring conversation. I don't know. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Josh. Sure. That's all for the first episode of Looking for Le One. We thank you for joining us and hope you tune in next week as the search for Le One continues. I'm Jaleesa Ponte from LCTV, and I thank you for joining us. Till next time, Lemoyne.